I got actually have like a huge bone to pick here, something that I do not appreciate at all. Um, and as far as like a new numero uno enemy, this goddamn, do you know who Jessica Muska is? Some of you may, some of you may not. She's just like this terrible, gigantic slag, busybody, deadbeat mother who lives her life on Gore World. Yeah, so you know Jessica Mesco. Okay. Yeah, you all know Jessica Mesco. This fucking bitch. Last night. Slob. Correct. This fucking cunt had the balls to do one of two things, actually, here. One, she got Cyrax live on her panel yesterday. Right? What an indignation. What a fucking despicable and disgusting move. But that's not all. That is not all. Then, after that, she started playing groovy Jimmy clips. She started off with Cyrax and then moved on to groovy fucking Jimmy. As if nothing is sacred. As if nothing is sacred. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this is a call to arms. This cannot stand. This cannot stand. This will not stand. And something's got to be done about this. It made me, like, absolutely fucking livid. And uh, I, I really don't care for it. I really do not care for it one iota. I understand she has a kid. Um, you know, I really don't like to involve kids in any of this stuff. Um, but as far as, like, her covering Cyrax and Groovy Jimmy, like, you don't see me adopting a baby neglecting it all day uh, to play games on the internet and taking pot shots at a fat Canadian lady when she's basically the same size. You know what I mean? It's just shameless. It's disgusting. Um, I may be a lot of things, but in some regards, I have some ethics. Uh, I don't know about morals, but I do have ethics. Like, stuffing people's toes is not something that's forgivable. And, you know, she should have done the homework on, like, how things go around here. And I don't think she, like, as far as I'm concerned, if anything happens, I really don't feel like she has the right to complain about anything if things start getting weird. You know, I mean, I guess I'll give it a, a one-time deal. Like, you fucked up. This is not acceptable. Don't you ever do it again because uh, it, it's not worth my time or anyone else's time to start giving you the treatment. But I don't appreciate it. I don't think anyone else appreciates it. Um, you don't want to be the next Missy Moo, okay? It's just not worth it. You know what I mean? As far as, like, your bottom line, you probably make more money – Covering uh, the fat lady du jour, whoever that may be, your Amberlynn Reeds or your Feudy Beauties. I don't even think your audience it, it wants to uh, do anything to support that. You know what I mean? You, you have your wheelhouse. Stay out of mine. Stay out of mine. Everything's going to be fine. I'm just over and let's just leave it at that. I'm, I'm hoping that's all that it is. I'm not Yes, she did art, and I'm hoping I can just outsource this to you because I really don't even want to be bothered with it. You know, I just wanted to get the message and fuck off. But, yeah, she's trying to hone in to Cyrax. She's trying to hone in to Groovy Jimmy. She's got to get nipped in the bud. Let's get greasy. You're a good man, Art. You're a good, you're a good man, and thank you for saving me the legwork on this. I don't like her. I don't even want to have to deal with her fucking ass. I don't want to have to make the ads. I don't want to have to go back and forth with the grinder people. I don't want to have to go back and forth with the scrappers. Like, 
if, if, you, if you can help facilitate this, I would be grateful. And, and I honestly think it's essential to, uh, to protect the groove. I really do. So here's where we're at. 